When I was a kid, we used to live in Dark Harbor during part of the summer months when we were working out there. Live in little shacks, almost like Okies, you know, <laughs> sort of. And uh, yeah, it was, it was great. It was really old fashioned too. Delson is picking an edible seaweed off the beach at low tide. My great-great-uncles back in the early 1900s were Deltzers. And then my grandfather did too, and then my father, and then me. <laughs> Come down through the generations, for sure. Dark Harbor's a pond, I don't know, it must be over half a mile long, I guess. And it's enclosed by a natural seawall. There's high cliffs surrounded most of it, except the western side. I guess that's why they always called it Dark Harbor, because it takes a while for the sun to hit down there in the morning. Then some ventures tried out there that didn't pan out. They blamed it on that pirate's curse. Pirate and his crew come ashore and they bury their treasure up on top of the hill. The captain got them all drunk and then he murdered them all so he'd have the treasure himself. But in the process, he got cut too and he bled to death. So uh, anyone that's tried to find his treasure has all met an untimely death since then. And so there's been a curse on on the whole place since then, yeah. Get into it with my dad when I was a small child. Started going dulcing with him. Then as I got old enough, I went on my own. <laughs> Still doing it for the last 46 years. Been at it a long time. But some of the older guys now who can't go, and they, they tell me, they said, oh, go while you can, because you'll miss it. These guys are 80 years old, you know, and they miss it. They wish they could go, but uh, I don't know. I think I can find something else to do. <laughs> yeah. Nothing has changed much. It's still picked by hand and still dried by the sun outside. They're all homemade shaking machines, just an old washing machine motor. Prongs inside that turn and thrash your delts around. It comes out the bottom. I guess that's pretty much what it does. Just kind of like working alone in the peace and quiet and doing my own thing without a bunch of people around. That's the way I prefer it. The only ones that go alone that I know of is me and my friend Donnie Ritchie. I think we're the only two that go alone. Donnie Ritchie came up with the idea of putting the bicycle wheel on the other end. I love delts. Most Graham and Anders do too. Yeah, they love it. I know guys who have to keep some on hand during the winter months when you can't really buy any fresh delts. They keep them in their deep freeze and hopefully it lasts them until the next season starts up again. <laughs> you can't feed a Graham and Anders bad delts. They won't accept it. It's got to be good fresh delts. They won't have anything to do with it.